don't worry about the next. Where's your boy, Chris the X? Alright, so I'm here to talk about the whole Roseanne Barnes and her tweet situation. Um, Alright, so for those of you who are new millennials or whatever, I don't. I don't even know what I, what I am. I was more in 1990, so... so shit. But, um... For those people who are, I would say, like... Uh, are younger... Uh, the whole... Alright, first of all, I grew up watching Roseanne. And Roseanne was always an edgy show. And... She... Um, tweeted out something about comparing some Muslim woman to an ape. And now, uh, because uh, uh, the, the Roseanne show right now is a revival of the old one back in, what, 1995 through 1998, I believe. It, it, it ended. And uh, uh, my whole situation on the take is, even in, in a Donald Trump nation right now, because you have a lot of people, uh, racism, it was out then it was under the table now with him it's just out again but even with him in office you know there's just some lines that you do not cross and Roseanne has always been an edgy person the Roseanne show is this uh, middle class uh, I don't like to say white trash I, I don't think it was white trash it was just basically um, um, a middle class mother sort of like the middle but like a, a lot raw a lot raw and she has had um, controversial topics on her show, the one in the 90s, such as, you know, letting her um, daughter's boyfriend, uh, Darlene's, um, Darlene's boyfriend, uh, live in the same house, and they, uh, sometimes they be doing it, and uh, her other daughter would, um, don't want the blonde hair, I believe Becky, uh, you know, she would run away with some other, uh, with Mark, and, um, you know, all while Roseanne be on a budget, then, uh, her son, I believe D DJ, uh, DJ Connor, uh, they had a show about, uh, jacking off, and, uh, you know, he didn't want to kiss a black girl, so she always, they always had, like, edgy topics, and, uh, Roseanne talked about lesbianism, she had a, a lesbian kiss. So, uh, and this is all in, in the 90s, too. So, but, you know, nowadays, the, the Roseanne show now, uh, it's a, I feel like it was more, it, back then it was about learning, but they pushed the um, topics. But today I feel like the, the, it's more about uh, a learning experience, more so than um, being edgy. Like, they're still edgy, but it's more so a learning experience because... You know, times have changed. Like they had, like one of the characters on there is, uh, I believe DJ is married to. Um, they adopted a black girl. Then um, one of the sons is flamboyant, but they think he might be gay. Like I don't. And um, so I don't, I don't. But the thing about it is, is um, the old Roseanne show. I don't remember what network it was on. It might have been... I don't remember what network is on. But this um, network uh, is ABC. And ABC is owned by Disney. And Disney has a strict code of uh, conduct, you know, with their employees. You can't just be on here, uh, you know, posing nude or uh, saying any old type of thing on, uh, you know, Twitter or any social media. Just like with Miley Cyrus uh, had that picture where uh, she had her back out. All you could see was her back. And uh, Ann Leibovitz had took it and it was a big uproar. They kind of tried to blame it all on Ann Leibovitz because uh, Ann Leibovitz take thought-provoking and edgy pictures. So it's like the um, John Lennon photo with Yoko Ono with her hair out and he was naked, whatever. But um, why I brought that up is because Again, Disney has a strict code of conduct. They could have canceled the Miley Cyrus show, uh, Hannah Montana, on, on site. They could have did it on site. And so, Roseanne should have, um, 
have known that you can't just be putting stuff out there. If she thought that, that's her thoughts. But um, if you have a business or you work with a business or you, you, we live in a very dumb but PC type of generation where people might say words that they don't know about. They, they say things that they don't know, but they'll, um, they'll use it like calling somebody ignorant, but they might be actually telling the truth. I'm not saying Roseanne was telling the truth that she like an ape. No, I'm just saying, like, in this generation, you know, you can say something that's the truth. People will use, oh, that's ignorant, that's a, a predicament. When you don't even know what the fuck you, what you're saying. But anyways, going, that's another topic. Anyways, going back to what I was saying, you know, Disney's very strict. So, um, they, they're thinking about coming out with a, a spinoff where they want to not include Roseanne. They, um, which I think might be, that's stupid. But, um, they want to call, some people think it's about, about might use Dan and not use Roseanne. He'll be like the head figure. And then they're thinking about him. That Dan says he hasn't heard no word on the spinoff, so I don't know. Let's see where this goes. It's like with the Kathy Griffin and the whole Donald Trump decapitation photo. You know, you see how that died down, so it might die down from Roseanne. You know, some stuff just dies down. Was she absolutely wrong for what she said? Yeah, because you can't be comparing nobody to no eight. You know, whether she was Muslim or black, because. You know, it was like comparing black people to um, monkeys and apes. So I definitely think she was wrong for what she said. But um, again, you know, that's Disney's policy. Uh, another, and then they say, well, they can um, just transfer the show to a different, um, a different station. But Disney owns all the rights to everything that they have, so they can't do that. So. Roseanne, you shouldn't, you shouldn't just have a tweet in that. You should just keep that thought to yourself. All right, that's my take on it. Any comments, questions, concerns, in the comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy, Chris with the next. Peace.